welcome back everyone. It has been some time since we have been here. Welcome back to the Stay and We're here for a very special quiz. Part of the STV Children's Appeal with some very special guests. We're very much looking forward to it. Welcome back to everyone in the chat. Welcome to Tracy, Martina, Hazel, Amy, Louise, Jill, Jennifer. I'm missing, I'm missing loads of names there. I'm missing loads of names. It's good to be back and see you all again. Uh, I see people are already opened the book for the time I make the first mistake. Thanks that you still have the faith in me that we're all still doing well here. Um, as always, we're going to be doing 20 questions tonight um, as part of this STV Children's Appeal. The STV Children's Appeal just now, they're going to do a 10 times challenge. So I hadn't actually told any of our guests tonight, but we're going to do that 10 times challenge twice with 20 questions. Around tonight, we have Scottish celebrities, we have TV, we have music, and we have films. I don't know if you count that as my first Andy, but I've forgotten what I've written already. Uh, but we've also got a great raffle up for grabs, uh, loads of great prizes. Let's see if I can remember what they are without looking at my sheet, because I know we've got a 1972 uh, Sign Angels top. We've got some Soapy Suds goodie box from Helensborough Soap Goods, a £250 John Lewis voucher, a virtual PT session from Alex Reed, a £500 wedding dress voucher, two return rail tickets on the London Rail any of the East Coast railway lines, uh, two passes for the Red Bus Bistro Tour Bus, which looks amazing, and a 40-inch smart TV. Um, so follow the link in the description of the video. Go buy yourself a raffle ticket for every £5 you donate. That is one entry you get into the raffle, and we'll be drawing that straight after the quiz tonight. But as I said, some very special guests that we've got with us tonight. We've got Jane McCarry, Sanjeev Coley, Laura Boyd, and Lorraine Kelly joining us very, very soon. But please, go buy those raffle tickets before we get them on. Uh, I'll do a few more hellos, a few more hellos. Get Jill Petrie, Amanda Coyle, Andrew Graham, Fiona Dougal, Nick Dixon, Jacqueline, and Louise Gallagher. Get any of the comments on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. If you want to get involved, we'll give you a shout out when they're coming up. If you've got any questions for any of our guests as well, uh, let us know, let us know. But I think uh, I think we should just get our guests on. So please uh, give a big stain and welcome to our guest tonight. We've got Laura Boyd, Sanjeev Coley, Peace. Lorraine Kelly and Jane McCarry. Welcome everyone. How are you guys doing? Good. Hi. Nervous? I, the, I'll be honest, Laura. I mean, lo lockdown sort of, <laughs> sort of like eased a bit, but I'm still in the same spot that I do all my Zoom calls. <laughs> yeah. Laura, you, you said nervous there, but you've done a few of these um, and you've actually done extremely well. But a wee bird, they told me that Sanjeev may be your match tonight. Um, well, you, you, yeah, a wee birdie told me that as well. My friend Leah McRae, who's also Sanjeev's friend and a fellow River City star, said to me, I don't want to scare you, but, or I don't want to give you the fear, but <laughs> that Sanjeev's affy clever is what she said. So um, I have got the fear now. Well, oh, can, I, can I just, can I just <laughs> preface that by saying that we uh, entered the Steel Game team into Eggheads and I was the first to, to be sent to the subs bench and Jane stayed till the end. Oh, but Jane's the one. Well, I only it. stay to the end though because I was too no, Lorraine. Honestly, I was too scared to go on my own, so I <laughs> so there wasn't really an option for me to get. I mean, that's awful kind of you, Sanj. But do you want to tell them what my answer was to the restaurant, the famous French restaurant in London, and who oh, ran I, that? So, the so it was the question was, was Rue Brothers. Yeah, yes. the Rue Brothers. But you said the Cray Brothers. The Cray. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Now, oh, you, you have just, this is what you're dealing with. You have just <laughs> talked about how you guys will do, but Lorraine's maybe got some help in the background. Uh, for, for her. Yes, I mean, we oh, saw it when we were having a wee chat earlier. You've got a wee, a wee cardboard no. cut out of yourself there, Lorraine. Do you know what? Even more scary. Hang on, just wait a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, she's off. I've lost her. We're, off, we're off script already. Oh. Dog. I got oh. Dog. That's even more terrifying, isn't it? But I'll just do that. <laughs> are, we, are we watching Home Alone 4? <laughs> now, usually when, we get guests, usually when we get guests on, we have a wee chat backstage just to make sure that um, everyone's comfortable with what's about to happen. And I was like, is there any topics that are off subject? And Lorraine, you just out with, no, everything's fine. I was talking about dry vaginas this morning. And I was like, well, that's a turn that I wasn't expecting this to take. No, we, what were, was we were doing it. We were doing a thing about how COVID, many, many things that it's been responsible for, but it's ruined people's sex drive uh, and other things. So we're trying to talk about that. And the doctor was fantastic. And you know what doctors are like? They talk about anything. 
and she, <laughs> she was talking about I'm t- I can't I know I can't it's too silly <laughs> <laughs> Well, she was talking about self cleaning vulvas. You know, you girls have vulvas, so and uh, I thought she said self cleaning vulva. So I told you that. And it was very embarrassing. But yes, we talk about I, many things, and oh, all human life is there. I would buy a self cleaning Volvo. I mean, that would be a that'd be a great purchase for kids. Yes, so yeah. I didn't buy the other one. I got that. But I didn't <laughs> buy the other one. But imagine a self cleaning. <laughs> Fantastic. This has got a very strange route already. <laughs> I mean, we've got a whole hour to go. Who knows where it's going to go? Yeah, raise the tone for my mother. <laughs> right. So what we'll do then, <laughs> we'll get we'll get everyone signed up and on the quiz right now. So if you want to take part tonight, get out your smartphone, head over to kahoot.it, sorry, and head put in that pin number three two zero three nine eight six. As I said, twenty questions tonight. Uh, all sorts of wondrous going on uh, and a special picture around to end on um now lorraine you you're doing this quiz as part of your 10 times challenge now as i said i hadn't really told you that it was 20 questions so you're kind of doing 10 times challenge twice so apologies for that but you've been involved with the children's appeal for for some time yes is that right really since the very very start and it's been wonderful to see it grow and to see all the all the good that's done because what i love about it is every single pound that you give that's it. There's no other costs. Do you know what I mean? It's the pound. You don't. You donate a pound. A pound gets spent on our kids, and that's fantastic. And there are too many children in poverty. And and you know, it's just if you can do something, and you know what happens it, year upon year upon year, the people that can't afford it, the people that have got the least, always end up giving the most. And um, I yeah. love to go down to see where all the money goes and to see it actually really doing doing good. You know, and 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 changing lives. And that's really really what it's about and I've had a brilliant time doing it it's been actually very it gets very emotional as well because you know everybody's just doing their best and it's lovely it's just lovely yeah because I mean it is one in four children across Scotland that are affected by poverty so this does go a long way Um, and it's been going for 10 years now so that is why you're doing the the 10 times challenge Uh, just just while I'm chatting to you, Lorraine, somebody has asked in the chat, um, and I think we could I think we could raise some money out of this. Somebody's asked if you recreate the Here We Go chant from Transmit at the weekend before we start the quiz. <laughs> now, My mum, it, mum's next door. And she was oh, Lorraine, I was shocked when I heard that. I was walking across the Transmit site and we were like, that's not Lorraine, surely. It was <laughs> every day is loving it. That's just absolutely so loving that it. He's, he's like the son I never had. I <laughs> and he can ask me to do anything, and I'll just do it. And I think it's fine. I love so, it. We encourage to try and change the chant at the gates. Um, I tried to get everyone to change it to here with the lateral flow. It didn't really catch oh, on too here much. We go, here we go, here we go. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Really good. No, yeah. No, 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 good. That's fantastic. I like that. That's it didn't catch on as much. I'm, I'm, I, I missed yours. I'm unfortunate. Uh, Laura, I bumped into you as we were both <laughs> running in. We, we were running in separate directions backstage. Laura, where were you off to when I when I saw you? Uh, I think I was going to interview Amy McDonald at that point. Um, oh, but uh, you were moaning because you'd cut your finger. It was it was an option oh, yeah. for you. Wasn't yeah, it? You were working so hard. It's still bruised. I hope that's. Oh, I'm just realised <laughs> we're at eight o'clock. I'm not after the wash. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> But it was great fun. But Lorraine, that was an absolute <laughs> highlight. <laughs> I'd love Brilliant. that. I know it was so good. And like I said, I was in my kitchen shouting and ranting in my kitchen, but I was by myself. Thank God. Only Angus was looking at me as if I was beyond bonkers. But it's great. I love doing things like that. I really do because it's it's funny. It's funny. Yeah, Lorraine, I heard even the cardboard cut out of your mum was shocked. To hear that language <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> like we've had the cardboard cut out of all of our family. <laughs> Because we're very strange. <laughs> <laughs> that is so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but we are here to raise money. Uh, just some examples that other um, people are doing. STV Weatherman, uh, Sean Batty, he's doing a 10K. Uh, good well, good luck to him. Peter Philip Petrie is watching the 10 worst movies as voted by his Twitter followers. I would love to know what actually those 10 worst movies would be. Oh, uh, wait a minute. He's got quite a neat, I love... In fact, he might be on the chat, Philip, because he did say he was going to watch tonight. He's got some belters in there that are not, not that the worst, bad. I yeah. would, I would argue that What's Spice World movie? is a very good movie. That's not in the top ten worst movies of all time. <laughs> and no Grease way. too. I love Grease too. Oh, that was a dire. Yeah, I know, it's, it's got some good. It's like dire good. So, um, no. so yeah, he's, he's no. Dead. It's so bad. It's worse. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. 
Rainbow. Shark Nado is so bad that it's hilarious, but only small. I couldn't watch like a whole movie of it. Well, he's suffering, suffering for a very good <laughs> Yeah. Right, I think very soon are you guys all in? You are all ready? You are all ready with your buzzers and ready to go? Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Just make sure your phones are awake. Oh, is it? Oh, God. <coughs> I've just got that. Is that right? That's, That's right, you're fine. If you've got that purple screen that says you're in, you're in and we are ready to go. Um, so let's go then. Let's get tonight's quiz started. Uh, as I say, our first round um, is on oh. Scottish celebrities. Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm I've just... Too. Yep, that's us. So our first question tonight... Too. Oh my gosh. So I should say thanks to our sponsors who are Tunnox. But where are Tunnox based? Are they based oh. in Bathgate, Kaluk, Huddingston oh. or Cumbernauld? That's the best factory ah. ever. Wait, is it? Have you been for the tour? Uh huh. Have we all oh, been for the tour? Where it is? I don't know what it is. I've not done the tour yeah. yet. I do know what it is. Oh, and you always oh, leave with a goodie so good. bag. Boyd Tunnock's a very generous man. Yes. Oh, I'm going to do that. He gave I me actually, a I, I do a bit of work. I do a bit of work with Tunnock's, and I and I get a wee Christmas hamper Ooh. every year. And it, the stuff in there you don't know that Tunnock's make, like trainers and. All kinds. Well, like I, cakes you didn't know they made. It's amazing. The winners, <laughs> the winners of the quiz tonight. The winners of the quiz tonight are actually going to win this hamper. And some of the stuff in there looks mm. looks phenomenal. Oh, it's it's, it's phenomenal. So, it's phenomenal. Is yeah, this right, Jane, that it's still yeah, that's right. Oh. It just gives everyone gives everyone a chance to get an answer in. Oh right. Oh, that's it's just because I'm not at home. I'm worried at the internet. So for all Berlin, that's fine. The correct answer is Uddingston. Could Did I we get that one right? Ah, yeah, I think I got it right by my fifty-third place. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> so pe people, people are very fast. So clean. Oh, Volvo. is it speed? Oh, right, is it speed related? It's fastest so the, finger first. And faster. Sixtieth place. How can that be? I don't. Oh, I don't know. It's speed related. The faster you answer. Neither did I. More points. Sorry, you never told us that. I was talking. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. Clean Volvo oh, FC. <laughs> clean Volvo <laughs> FC in first place, Cooper Davinke in second, one McInerney in third, team Ada in fourth, and Quizzy Kell in fifth. So did you guys all get this one right? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes right, well, okay. Okay, so it's quick. Like Question number two. Oh. Oh. So which of the following have the most followers on Instagram? Lewis Capaldi, Calvin Harris, Paolo Nutini, or James McAvoy? Yeah, quick. So Ooh. which of those have the most followers on Instagram? That's quite a tough one. That is mm. tough. That is tough. Mm -hmm. who's, who's got the most here? I'm too, I'm too old for Instagram. <laughs> no, do, no do, I don't do, do. My boys put it on the phone. I've never looked at it. I don't look at it at all. This is funny. You, you're talking about Transmit before, right? I really wanted to see Little Sims. Laura, did you see Little yep. Sims? At no, Transmit, I was, or did you? I never got and, to it. And I casually mentioned to my daughters, oh, I wonder if I could get tickets to, to, go, to see Little Sims. And they said to me, don't go to Transmit because it's a young person's festival and people will, you, you'll go on a register. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say what they actually called me. Oh, but was, I was barred from going to transmit, so I can't do Insta. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. You, to be fair, Sanchez got um, an account on OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, if you stay past 10 o'clock, Jane, if you stay past 10 o'clock, that's as a full sub a pl platinum subscription to that is on the raffle as well, actually. Yep. Uh, the correct, correct answer to that one is oh, yeah. actually Calvin Harris is the correct answer. Yeah. Not, yes. not Lewis Capaldi. Not Lewis Capaldi is what, what most people thought it was Lewis Capaldi. See your scores. Sanch, what place are you in? Marble oh, Runners are now in first. I've gone to 48. I was well, that means you went up. Yeah, I went up. Mm. I've gone down. I think quite a few people got that one wrong, though. So, so we're, right. we're doing not bad here. <gasps> I went to 28. Like, see, I can oh, oh. Sanch, what are you now? Tenth. Go on. Oh, what are you? tenth. Tenth. I'm leaving it in my dust. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Question number three. Which of the following singers first represented the UK at Eurovision? Sandy Shaw, Kenneth McKellar, oh. Lulu, or Ricky? Oh, 
all Scottish singers that represented the UK at Eurovision. Who was first? Wow. Sandy's show's not Scottish, is she? Who's Ricky? Uh, Richard Andrews, I think it was. Uh, it, it was like, I'm not even going to say when. That can't yeah. be wrong. I don't I press that, that one. Don't. I've got it wrong. Bugger. I'm sure I have. I've got it wrong. I think it's so, I've got I it wrong. Kind of like, nah, I had to press something. I think it's Andy Shot. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And it won't be the obvious, but then sometimes it is the obvious. I know. I, th I think I've. It depends what you think is obvious. I know. What did we go with? Coley gets this right. I, I don't know. Because the thing is, I said someone that I don't think is actually even Scottish. But then she's one of the choices. So. Right. No! Oh! Oh, oh. oh bugger. I've gone a wee down now. Ooh. Let's see our scores. We wee down. I said Kenneth and Kayla, how daft am I? Lone Muppets in oh. first, Odin in second, David M in third, Robin F in fourth, and Wifey going to win in fifth. Wifey going to win. Wifey what was win. the answer then? Was it... Lulu. Lulu. Was it Lulu? Lulu. Question four, Lulu. which of the following celebrities is born in Scotland? Which of the following celebrities was born in Scotland? Colin Firth, Alan Cumming, Pierce Brosnan or Rod Stewart? Which of those was born in Scotland? Oh, I bet that's wrong. Oh, God. This is too I know, hard. I think these are hard, Andy. These are hard. They're always hard. These are hard. Sorry. Very hard. Um, <laughs> I really don't know. I have no idea. Um, I'm not good at general knowledge, but I'm very good at specific ignorance. I know. See, Rod Stewart thinks that he's been... I'm not sure he was born in Scotland. Oh, was he? Was he born in Leeds? He was born in Scotland either. Was he? Ah, uh, I think oh, you're right. Was he? Mm. Who's Piers Brosnan? Was it Rod Stewart? Did I spell Piers Brosnan wrong? <laughs> Piers Brosnan. I mean, I'm even. <laughs> now, quite often I get I get the piss oh, ripped at me on here for my spelling, but that is that's that one is quite special, Andy. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm I'm happy to have Lorraine Kelly take the piss out of my spelling. That's the only time that I will allow that. Oh yes. Oh, I got it right. Oh, was it? Correct answer is Alan Cumming. Who was Alan Cumming? Carnoustie was born in, wasn't he? Yeah. Rod Stewart was born in London. Uh, Colin Firth is Irish, I believe. Northern Irish. I think Pierce Brosnan was somewhere down south of England as well. Yes. Oh, and he's not, he hasn't got a Pierce Bronson. No, not Pierce Bron Bronson. <laughs> you know, that is, so, that is so unfair because like we all know that Alan Cumming is Scottish. You think, well, that's a trick. He wasn't born here, but he's moved that, here. That's, it's a that's, triple bluff. That's not uh, right. double, the It's a triple uh, yeah. bluff, Sand. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ah, well. Right. Uh, Lone Muppet still at the top. Let's see our next question. Question five, last one in this round. Which of the following characters has Martin Comston not played? Craig Burke, Steve Arnott, Ewan Brodie, oh, or Mike Banning? Oh, God. Oh, God. You know, I don't know. I think that's wrong. Oh, I hate when I think that's wrong. <laughs> he hardly played. Yeah, I'm, I bet I'm wrong. I think he's hardly in it. Oh, in that submarine thing? I'm yeah. not sure about that. I mean, I'm sticking with it, but I'm not sure. It would put you off going in a submarine ever. But it's a very large no. submarine. You know when you watch Das Boot and it was and it was tiny? Yes, yeah, it's, it was yeah, it's remarkably spacious submarine, yeah. actually. <laughs> yeah, it, they don't normally have home cinemas. <laughs> Have you have you been watching vid is it vigil? Yes, it is vigil. Yes, have we, have we been watching it? I am I'm sticking with it, but I'm not sure. I quite liked it. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's no line of duty, but no, it is no good. line of duty. No, but I love Saran Jones and I don't like it that she's annoying me because I really like her. <sighs> no, I got that wrong. I got it wrong. Oh, I got that wrong. Well, it was Mike Banny who was Gerald Butler in Olympus Has Fallen. Oh right. That's right. Really uh, we've we've lost Jane. Jane Jane is in a, oh. a hotel somewhere, and she's clearly only paid for forty five minutes of Wi Fi. <laughs> we've lost her. Uh, she's back. She's back. She's back. Did you go back to the reception, Jane? Did you go back? To the no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's the scores. Right, who got that right then? I never. Robin F and first. Shanice in second, Glad Raccoon in third, Just Us in fourth, Alana in fifth. So what position are we in then? Who's who's in what? How are we doing? I'm 32. 30, 32 for Lorraine. Yeah, that's oh, 31, Lorraine. 
Well, I'm 55. I'm way, way, I'm way down in the hundreds. I'm not even telling you. Oh, Laura. I know, I know. It's, it's been a stressful day, Andy. Just as a wee update, uh, we currently raised £1,340 from the raffle. It's the STD guys have just put the link in the comments. So buy yourself a wee raffle ticket just now. For every five of you donate, uh, you'll get an entry into the raffle. We'll be drawn that straight. We'll jump straight on then with round two. Round number two. And this is general knowledge. General knowledge. What ball, oh, no. sorry, what colour is the ball used in water polo? Yeah. Blue, yellow, pink or white? A few people asking how many teams are in. We're uh, well over 300 teams at the moment. Um, but so this is embarrassing because we've got a still, still game water polo team, haven't we, Jane? I can't remember <laughs> what colour the ball was. <laughs> no, I'd need to watch that. We played two doors down, remember? We beat them and I can't remember what colour the ball was. <laughs> I would definitely. <laughs> the crazy thing is, is I don't know if you're being serious or not. I can't. I can't go. Never. <laughs> we did used to have a quiz every day. Yes, though. we had a quiz. We, we had a quiz. quiz. And the winner we go, and we would have a quiz every day. Can every I just say that was a really every day? Sometimes I didn't play the quiz because I'm rotten at quizzes, to be honest. And I like eating, so well, they were all. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting the extra puddings. But can I just say that this is really tricky because the colour was a different colour. Exactly. Yes, work. that put me off as well. Oh, oh yes, I got it right, though. I got it right. Ooh. Oh, did I get it right? yellow. I got it right as well. I, I, that was a pure game. I used to have stopped complaining now that he's all got it right, though, aren't you? He's already complained before he even knew. But he's got it right, the complaining. It was stopping. very difficult for my brain to, to comprehend that. Let's see your scores. Big changes in the top five. Glad Raccoon at the top, Alana in second, oh, Just oh, as in third, Ice Maiden in fourth, and Femi <laughs> in fifth. Any advance on the places we were in there? Jane, I think you were the top. You were in 31st, is that right? Uh, no. Oh, was it? Oh, I'm 21 now. Oh, Jane, oh, I'm 18. 18. I'm 35. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no, I, I've, I've made out the hundreds, but I'm still way behind. You're still not telling us. I'll go. I'll bomb, Laura. I always start quite well, don't I, Sandra? And then I crash and burn <laughs> <laughs> question number seven Ooh. according to new analysis by which what is the UK's cheapest supermarket Aldi, Asda, Tesco or Lidl oh, so this was, <laughs> this was only in the last week or so that this came out okay. Stephanie see Harrison. again this will be a trick this will be a trick it won't be what you think or will it well, see, I know this is the thing. Is it? Is it one of those obvious ones? Or... No. Uh huh. Is it? Uh -huh. Are we going between Little and Aldi, or are we going? I don't know. Why Stephanie was it Waitrose? Harris... <laughs> well, <laughs> do you know that apparently Waitrose is twenty-one pounds more expensive than the cheapest one? There you go. There's, there's a... Do you know version. that they're doing? They're doing a less uppity version of Waitrose called Ha Margaret. <laughs> 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 So you don't have to laugh, by the way. Just too much character. Just polite. You put really silly things on Twitter and they're dead funny. They always I know. Get them I always get them going to work in the morning and it cheers me up. Oh, bless. It's, oh, oh no. it's Lidl. I went for the obvious one and it was right, yeah. Oh, no. Well, Aldi, Aldi was top until the new li the new list was just released a couple last week or so. So there you go. Oh, Let's see our scores. I've got oh. weirder. I'm up to 20th now. I'm 38. Going back down. Oh, Jane. this has never happened to me in my life before. Oh, Sandra, I'm so excited. I'm six. Oh, wow. Oh, just, off the board. Just, oh. just off the board. Oh, no. Just off the board, Jane. But this honestly, is I promise you, it'll. No. It that, won't that's the Scottish spirit, Jane. I, <laughs> I say that as a Celtic fan that just watched them throw away two goal leads. <sighs> <sighs> anyway, sorry. I'll Let's see your next question. Question number eight. Accounting for around 30% of the world's cheese, which country produces more cheese than any other in the world? Can't be a cheese mm. question. So which country produces more cheese oh, than any other country? I... USA, France, country. China or Switzerland? But USA, it's not even real cheese they make. Who? Never... The USA, USA, it's that plastic rubbish. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? And it's kind of not... Oh, it's yeah. vile. 
It you ever been to the? Surely I was you going to get Chinese cheese. Do you? China cheese. <laughs> Chinese cheese. Chinese cheese. I've never had Chinese cheese. Is that like Dutch wine? It's just. <laughs> 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 You can't beat a bit I'll of plastic be wrong, cheese yeah. on like a barbecue, though. A barbecued burger with a bit of plastic American cheese. That's, that's or in the cinema. For. I like it in that. Oh, the cinema. Oh, no. I can't stand no. it. Oh, I, like, no. I like really manky food. Yeah, I like, oh, I like that. Manty Jean would always give me, you know, that plastic cream on a cake and it would stick oh, off of your mouth. Oh. <laughs> well, USA, really? It is the Whoa. USA. They make more cheese USA. than anyone else. I don't, believe it or not, I don't know why I say that. But did you say that, Jane? I did. What place are you in, Jane? Let's see your scores. Are you on the board, Jane? Going to fall out with me now. Jane is in what fourth bingo? place. Oh, wow. Bingo. Oh, bingo. Alana in first. Robin F in second. Jane, Rookie get a screenshot of that. Jane McCarry as oh, bingo so in fourth. Then I'll lose my thing. You do it, Sanch. <laughs> <laughs> Jane McCarry deserves her own Tunnox tea cakes for that. That's right. Jane, why did you choose the name Bingo? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was no. hoping there was going to be some great story about that. No, I don't even go to the Bingo. Well, I have been to the Bingo. But I don't know. Just, just because, you know, when you win, you go Bingo. And I thought, I'll probably win, but I'll kid on that I won't. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for me. I went, this is the only time, honestly. I, I swear to you, this is me. I'm, I'm going down now. I love you apologising for winning. You're so scoffed. I got to go again. Question number nine What is the current limit on what you can spend using oh, no. a contactless bank card? So, the oh. current limit today, if you were to go with your contactless bank card, how much can you spend? £30, £45, £75, or £100? Oh. Um, you know, while we think about this, can I just say, can we all say congratulations to Janine? Because I think earlier on she put it in the comments to say she got the all clear from cancer today. Oh, oh. well done, Janine. Well done, Janine. I missed that. I missed that. It was, that. Right, it was right at the start, Andy. She asked you oh. for a shout out, but you were like, to, I was, telling I was, us all what to do. So I apologize, Janine, for missing that, but congratulations. Did we all get this one, though? No? I don't know. I don't know the answer, hon. Is it What was the answer? Is it 45? I don't know yet. We've got I... nine seconds until we find out. Oh, A woman stage. said to me yesterday in the shops, she says, it's going up to £100 now. Oh, it's whoa, going what? up to oh. It's going, it up, is to going up to But not yet. Today, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> today, it's not. It's £45 today on the 1st of October. It goes up to a hundred pounds. Oh, does it? Oh, curse that woman! Oh. If she hadn't said that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see our schools then. Oh, so, what okay. position are you in then, Jane? Um, Jane, what position oh, are you in yeah, now? Seventeenth place now. Seventeenth. Oh, that was that was harsh. But honestly, I I wouldn't have put that if I hadn't been for her. <laughs> you, know, Jane, you know, you, you hear, you hear stories of people. Changing. People hear what stories like, like if, if someone they, they hear that the popular story that's oh, I found someone's wallet in Bray Head and I handed it back, and they said to me, "Don't fly on the plane on 11th of September." <laughs> Yours is slightly more low key. Oh, contact us, we've gone up a hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Only she said on the first of October. Oh. <laughs> you going to tell her tomorrow, Jane, that she lost you a quiz. I know. <laughs> not yet, though. You, not still yet, time. Still time. Still time to come back. Quinn ten. Last one in a round. Who was the second U.S. president to be impeached? Andrew Johnson, Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, or Donald oh, Trump? The second. I oh, pressed it too quickly. Oh. Oh no. I think my draw. I think I might need a cup of tea. Mom! <laughs> Going to make a cup of tea. <laughs> That's great. Can I get one in? Yeah. I mean, I know, can we all get one? <laughs> Straight up your mammy staying with you. <laughs> my cup of tea. And I love my mammy's tea. <laughs> but actually, oh, while, whilst we're here, and this, that kind of reminded me, Lorraine, so um, I'm going to just flick to this camera for a second. We also do a podcast on fizzy drinks where we just review oh. fizzy drinks. I would okay. love to know everyone, 
Everyone here, what's your favourite yeah. fizzy drink? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> Is it to be not a booze? We we don't we don't do booze, but I mean I'll accept prosecco. I'll accept prosecco. But otherwise, I'm brew hops. Is that is that the same for everyone? Well, I, extra. I did used to make I used to make iron brew ice cubes when I was a kid Ooh. in the summer. I would watch Wimbledon and I'd pop iron brew ice cubes in the mouth. But now, and you can ask any of my family to get told off for this, I'm actually addicted to Pepsi Max. See, look, this I is like Mum. How is Hello, Mum? My mum says, "Do you want a do you want a a cake a chocolate eclair as well?" Oh, oh an actual chocolate eclair! What? Yeah. Is it plastic cream or real cream? <laughs> <laughs> it's plastic stuff. I'll not bother. <laughs> oh, it's my oh oh. Listen, my posh down here. It's Marks and Spencer's. I mean, oh oh, oh not just no, any cake. There's no messing about <laughs> here. It's <laughs> not just any eclair. This is <laughs> right. The correct answer to that one was Bill Clinton. Uh, what, what, did you, oh, what did you put, yeah. Sanjeev? I knew you oh, were annoyed. I, I, put, I put Trump because I suddenly remembered that Nixon was the first and then it was Clinton well, actually, and then it was... Actually, was the, first wrong? Was, the first was Andrew Johnson. Richard oh. Nixon didn't get impeached. He quit before he was impeached. Oh. So it did was a trick good. question. That's sneaky. Can I just say that's pretty sneaky. Apologies. Apologies again. That was a sneaky. Let's see your scores. Oh, I'm rubbish. I've gone way down. Oh, so have I. Yeah. I'm 47. I'm away at 94th. I'm Ooh. really doing terribly. I need a musical theatre round. <laughs> well, we're on to our next round now. Uh, our next round is... Right, I think it's music. It. Oh, no, it's TV. Which of the following oh. show has aired more episodes? So which of these shows has Ooh. aired the most episodes? Oh, no. oh, that's hard. I think I've gone too fast on this one as well. I did as well because... Because Countdown's when daily. Alone, yes, that's what I'm thinking. Aye. And that's the thing. But then but look how long Corey. Um, exactly. I know. But the other what? one is, is every single night, I think. Lorraine, were you yeah. in Corey? I got shot in Corey by Gail. Gail shot oh. me with his leg with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was also really, you know, it was so bad. I was so bad because I was so excited that I was on Corey. Yeah, I got shot in the leg by, by Gail. And Lorraine, what was, your, what was your favourite TV show that you guested in, Lorraine Kelly? My favourite TV show that I've guessed it in. Oh my god! Oh, I got. I did get a mention on um, the, the thick of it when somebody was walking past. Yes. A useless person was sitting on the sofa, and he said, "Why are you sitting on that sofa? Who the effing hell do you think you're? You are the main Kelly." Oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh. The thing is, do they have to ask your permission before that? No, before no, no? so it was a complete surprise to you. Totally, I was watching. I couldn't believe. Oh, it. how lovely! Amazing, amazing, yeah. amazing. Oh, uh, correct answer was Coronation Street. Uh, ten over oh, ten thousand really? episodes. Uh, I think uh, countdown was next were around eight thousand. Wow! Yeah, because I'd gone for countdown. Oh dear! Yeah. And I nearly Count went for Corey. Countdown only Corey started, started, although it's daily, but it only started in the eighties. So I know. was it not the first show on Channel Four or something? Yes, it was. Yeah. But Jane's all trumped by me too. You don't get any extra points <laughs> for coming out with facts like that, though. <laughs> Oh yeah, we should get bonus points. <laughs> oh, I'm disappointed. Changes in the top five apart from you, okay, pal. Moving into fifth place. Next question. Question twelve. It's like Which... a national the names, isn't it? I love that. <laughs> which of these was broadcast <laughs> in the UK first? So which of these was broadcast in the UK first? Eurovision, oh Panorama, God. Blue Peter, or the Queens? Yes, it says Christmas oh, Street. Yes, it says. <laughs> I think I've, I, do, I've it. I think I don't know. Oh, gosh, it's so hard. I can't believe I wrote cross my speech. I thought, no, I'm going to try my best to make sure there's no mistakes in oh, this quiz. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> the it's a shame because you could have been you could have been the most pious um, person in the world, but if you you spelled Christ's name wrong, so you're going to the bad fire. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's that happening. Now. Bad fire. You know. <laughs> Do you know, we did this quiz um, a few months ago with Sean this, Batty. Do you mean quaz? This quaz. <laughs> <laughs> a few months ago uh, with Sean Batty and there was a weather question and Sean got it wrong and oh. he was devastated. However, he actually didn't. It was the next day we discovered Andy had got it wrong and he made yeah. Sean Batty feel ah. awfully for 24 hours, didn't oh. you? Yeah. Panorama. Yeah, I, I had to do a big apology on Twitter and everything. Panorama was 1953. Uh, I think next was Eurovision. 
Um, so there you go. Oh. Let's see your scores. I'm having a chocolate. No, I'm Alana, a and Robin F. Alana and Robin F still at the top two. They look like they're mm. going to be the ones battling out for the Tunnocks. Um, but <laughs> whilst I still remember, um, we've still got the raffle going on. The raffle will be drawn at the end. The last chance to get your raffle tickets in. You've got about 20 minutes to get your raffle tickets in. Uh, head over to the link, which one of the team will put in the chat comments just now. Uh, just follow that Just Given link for every £5 that you donate. You can win one of our amazing prizes. Mm which are anything. For, I was going to tell you what the prizes were, but then the big, my screen came up and just told me the TV was about to turn off. So, sorry. Uh, we've got a 40-inch TV, two passes for the Red Bus Bistro Tour, two return ta rail tickets on the LNER, £500 wedding dress voucher, virtual PT session from Alex Reed, £250 voucher from John Lewis, a framed 1972 Rangers Cup winner's jersey. Sanjeev, maybe you could get that one. And a Soapy Suds goodie box. <laughs> <coughs> Soapy um, Suds goodie book. That's not uh, easy to say. No. And I didn't <laughs> I didn't fuck it up either. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you this that me, Sandra, and all the Still Game team, we did a quiz and we were what were we like third from the bottom or something? Yes. Sam? Yes. We honestly thought what we said was we're not gonna we'll, we'll, we'll try and get some of the questions wrong and we're not and every single question not one of us knew the answer to. Not even Ford and Greg were there as well. No one knew the answers. <laughs> Ridiculous. I bet don't show what floor do you live on in the flats? Oh, like that. So, yeah. so it's, <laughs> without, a, without a doubt, we did 250 quizzes, I think, throughout lockdown. Without a doubt, the most requested quiz was a still game quiz. But I could never do one because it would have had to be insane questions like that, like that were all just very, very specific. Um, and I, I don't think I could have done it. It would have, it would have fried my brain. Um, it was embarrassing. There's one question: How tall is Navid? And I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's one question: What what's the number of the bus that Winston gets on when or doesn't get on when he's when, when he's at, um, attacked by the devil dog? And I didn't know the, the bus had a number. It's utterly <laughs> crazy. Uh, Lorraine, I do have a question for you that's come in on the um, chat, and we have just answered that question because people were asking if you're drinking from a Lorraine mug. Um, oh yeah, Andrew. I saw this. Anybody want it? Do you want it for the raffle? Oh, yes. That sounds Ooh, like. Lovely. So, we are about to add Lorraine's Lorraine mug to the raffle <laughs> prizes. Not just any oh, Lorraine mug. Add... Not just any Lorraine mug, but Lorraine's Lorraine mug is now one of the raffle nice. prizes. So, go That's donate good. your five pound, and you're going to get a you're going to get a chance to win that. I've got a better rate than. And lots of wee silly things. And the cake was great. I just guzzled it. Up. Yeah, you're not getting the cake, though. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Going go to me. Lorraine, did you have your tea tonight? Did I have what, love? Did you have your tea tonight? Oh, I. It's soon to be guzzling a chocolate eclair. Like, that didn't touch the sides. It's like you didn't eat today. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> uh, I think we should say we're on about £1,400, and we would love if we could get to 2000 1400 is amazing but if there's any way we could maybe Lorraine's mug will push it to 2000 I think I think Lorraine's mug is definitely going to push us over the edge a uh, sign, oh someone saying a signed, signed mug signed if we could of sign course. that mug then definitely right so anyway oh there's we, we a did, question guys there is a question sorry we did oh, talk God. about we did talk about cameos which of these celebrities has not appeared in EastEnders Boris Johnson Robbie Williams Catherine Tate or Harry Styles Oh, I can't remember what's saying. I get that wrong as well. I just bumped. can I can I tell you something on that question? So, um, when we were doing uh, the, the very last of Still Game, and Sanj was filming River City, so it was a day that I was eyes up, but he was AJ, and I begged the BBC to let me be an That's extra. Right. I wouldn't say a word in the cafe, so that eyes us sitting in the cafe <laughs> just on our own, and Sanj, well, AJ comes and gives her a cup of tea. We don't speak, we don't have any <laughs> communication, just puts a cup of tea, yep. and the camera pans around, and I thought, how many people would look that? Remind that! Margaret! Remind <laughs> Wouldn't that have been the sweetest thing ever? And they did they, let us did they not let you? No. Nah, That's so Laughing disappointing. Of genres. Oh, yeah. for goodness yeah. Apparently they ripped the fabric of space-time or something. Great, <laughs> 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 How much fun would that have been? I know. That, that would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Correct answer to that one was Harry Styles. Let's have a look Yay. at those scores. Oh, I've gone the weird thing is Boris Johnson is actually on EastEnders. What was 
What's he doing? I, and where? He would his mayor, was, I think. Yeah, oh. and he was getting served yeah. in the pub. Right, well. Next oh. question. Question 14. In River City, <laughs> which oh, football team did Sam That is not fair. <laughs> well, which football team did Sam... I can't... How do you say this guy's second Huen. name? Huen. 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 Okay. I love what, Sam Huen. He's the Huen. nicest man ever. What football Partic team did he play for? Partick Thistle, Livingston, Queen's Park or St. Murn? I think he's no reason he's nicest when you don't when you don't when you're not don't don't have looks, you have to obviously overcompensate in other departments. <laughs> and someone as profoundly ugly as Sam just needs to up his game. That's, that's so true. That's so true. He's a lovely man, isn't he? He's oh, he's just so lovely. Yeah, it's and it's insane. The fans like Oh god, it's crazy. It is I want I, I I was doing I once got somehow tagged <laughs> in a tweet that involved outlanders people and the amount of traction they get, it's, it's scary and it's They're global. I, I got my picture with him because I interviewed him, I've done it a few times, but he shared the picture and all the comments on it were like, oh my God, mm. she's trying to be his girlfriend and blah, blah, blah. like all this really like, nasty <laughs> stuff there and their mind is completely meant. Yeah. To be Sans, fair, you were. Sans, did you get that one? <laughs> Do you know I got that right? And I don't know, from, from the, I, I somehow remembered Livingston. Not many people got oh, it wrong. That was an well done. advantage. No, I got that wrong. Let's see know. your scores. It's all going <laughs> so well. I'm in a hundredth place now. Oh. It's a disaster. Me too. Where else? I've gone. I don't know down. what's happened. Like I'm in 80th, you. which is better than it was. Better you see? Sanjeev, what about you? Where are you? I'm in 10th. I, I just oh. want to be on that board once. So mm. if I get the next question right, I might, you might, I might, you see my incredibly imaginative name. <laughs> so so this, this is a last one in the TV round. Amy Poehler, Rob Lowe and Chris Pratt worked together on which US TV comedy series? Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Arrested Development, Brooklyn Nine-Nine or Parks and Recreation? I have no idea again. No, no idea. I'm guessing on this one. The just so I'm just, reading, I'm just Sorry, reading the 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 comments here. Jane once offered us for us to shelter in her car when there was a guy kicking off in the kebab shop. She's lovely. <laughs> Is that true, Jane? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I, remember I, into, I remember coming out of a kebab shop. I get into the wrong car. I get into the back seat of what I thought was my car and it was somebody else's car. <laughs> and then when I realised it wasn't my car, rather than getting out and saying I'm sorry, we chatted for like twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we were just chatting, 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 chatting. And I said, well, I better go back and find who. <laughs> so I have done that. But uh, it's, it's very possible, Sand, as you know. People just talk to you, don't they? I love chat. I love it more than anything <laughs> in the whole world. People's life. Goes on. And the best thing is when they don't know the still game thing, because then they, they, tell, you know, they just tell you everything about their lives. Yeah, I hoover every bit out of the millennium, every bit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would have been a great hairdresser if you weren't an actress. Oh, I know. I know. You I'd love to be an agony aunt, but I would give terrible you'd advice. Sorry. You'd be amazing on my show. You just talk to everybody. It'd be lovely. See, I'd love that working backstage. That would be it. Getting no, everybody you good, no, you would be good doing it. I think you'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but um, well, I love to could... talk. Maybe you could stand ditch, in ditch one, Christine, one day. Lorraine. Yeah, ditch Christine is the cover and get Jane in. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. There was parks and recreation. Let's see how our schools are doing. Ooh. Oh my God. I am out of it now. I've lost it completely. Did you get that one right, Sanjeev? I did. I, did. I, I did. I knew that just, one. I knew that just one. Just not fast yeah. enough. Yeah. Right. So the last round is a picture round, and you're going to need to write. Oh. You're going to need to write the answers in for this one. So um, they're all mutuals. Oh, okay. Ooh. Um they're all relatively easy to spell, but take your take your time when you're typing them in. Oh. Um the only thing I say is once you type them in, you need to hit submit to make sure that your answer goes in. So I'm going to show you stills from famous movies, but right. we have we have altered them slightly. So I'm going to show you I stills. I will not get any of these right. <clears throat> they're all very famous movies. So type your answer. Can you name the movie we've upgraded here? So can you name it? it's going to slowly appear. Oh, can't see that. I can't 
can you see it for me? It is slowly that? appearing. That's me. It is. That, oh, that's, that's you. Me. That's me. <laughs> um. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh, 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 what was it called again? Um, oh, God. Um, oh, I, turn, turn, I should, win? yeah, just make sure you've hit some, you've still got a wee bit of time. I should let you know there's five questions, there is five questions on this, and obviously I'm on that picture, which means there's four questions left, and there's four of oh, you. God. So, um, oh, dear. Oh, I, I know it, I can see them all doing it. Oh, I've, I've read a complete the worst answer answer this. Ever for that. Oh, I think it's mine is worse. I've said Ben Hur. <laughs> <laughs> definitely wasn't me. It was the full Monty. Oh, why were you not naked? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I think there's several bad. answers to that. <laughs> <laughs> and not just legal aesthetic. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Let's, let's see your scores. Robin F in first place, Ice Moon in second, Alana in third, Quizzle de Vos in fourth, and David M in fifth. Right, next one, question 17. Another movie that we have upgraded. What is it? Oh, gosh. Um, um, oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no, it's wrong. Done you wrong. <laughs> I mean, that's quite terrifying, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of oh. like it. <laughs> oh, and, oh, that's hilarious. I went with the curly <laughs> hair and got it totally wrong. Oh, what? oh wait a minute. I don't know. Oh, God, wait a minute. If, if you're quick, you might be able to see the person who's put the answer in the in the chat. No answers oh. in the chat. Oh, yes. oh that's what I put. Oh, right. I said Braveheart. <laughs> 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 William Wallace in sequence. <laughs> Could you imagine if William Wallace had been dressed like that? Oh, My tactic is if I, if I keep saying Ben Hur, I'll get it right at one point. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm it was, of course, plummeting. Oh, I'm I'm my Hold on. Oh, I actually got that right, unbelievably. Do you know what? I actually nearly did. I nearly did a Braveheart one, and Jane, because I found a photo of you from ah. <laughs> Still Game. You've got some blue paint on your yeah, face. With the blue face. I thought that would have been brilliant for it. I just couldn't find the right photograph. Let's see your scores, though. <laughs> Ice Maiden in first place. Mm -hmm. They're We're looking good. looking like the favourites for the Turnocks. I like this almost called Tired of You. <laughs> <laughs> Changing my name by Deadpool. <laughs> Question 18. Here we go. Oh, jeez, no. What the heck? Oh, wait a minute, and nothing's coming up. No. Oh, oh. There. oh. <laughs> oh. What is Hello. that? That's <laughs> <not fun. laughs> I don't. Oh! I know this one, I think. Oh, oh no, I don't wait a minute. Oh, shit. Oh, why did it? Oh. Time's up. I knew the Notting answer. Hill. Oh, the time's up. That's why. It was oh. Notting yeah. Hill. Yeah. Notting Hill was the answer. I thought that had enough oh, no. time to type. Oh. No, it wasn't enough time to see it in the Yeah, I think, no. wait a minute. I think it timed out early there, as Maureen said, Andy. Maureen says was... that. Pauline says it too. Yeah, I, I agree. That went really quickly. And Jenny just said, Andy! I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting shouted Andy. at. <laughs> yeah, 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 I probably can't make a mess of that one. Apologies. Hi. Let's see our scores. 24 people still managed to type it fast enough. You're Which, joking. Oh, good. That's, that is good. That is good. <laughs> Question 19, your second last one. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. I cannot. Come on, no. This is like catchphrase. I can never do it again. <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, nice. Oh, what's any, any, anyone else vaguely around? <laughs> Vague, vaguely? Uh, oh, God. Um, my dad. Well, oh. oh, no, I've said, I've said kind of it. That's that's cool. I have no oh, idea what that movie is. 
Yeah. So. I, I, I... <sighs> That's a tough one. It's actually the one that makes the most difference. There's no doubt the last one is my favourite, though. Am I holding a dildo? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't. Done, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. The correct answer to that one was hook. Oh. hook. Oh. Did you get that, Jane? Oh. Oh. I'm not good. Robin F. Still in the lead. You okay, pal? No, second, Ice Maiden in third. Captain Cats in fourth. Right. This yeah. is your last question. Your very last question. Good luck, everyone. This is also your last chance to go and get your tickets for the raffle. So follow the link in the description of the video or one of the STV team will put the one in the comments. Go buy your raffle tickets for every five pound you donate, you'll get entered into the raffle and that money will go to help one of one in four children in Scotland who are living in poverty. But this is your last question tonight. Nope. The last one. What movie have we upgraded here? Um. <laughs> What is that? Oh, I know this one. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got it straight away? Yep, because I'm a super fan. Oh. 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 Something. You got it from that? <laughs> it just, it works. So oh, no. Well. I've written it. I didn't mean that. Can you change that? No, I can't change no, that. No, there is no under. I know what that what? is. What did you put? Home Alone. I know it's not Home Alone. Oh, that is Home Alone. That's what I put as well. Stop giving people the answers. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I might be wrong. I thought it was, and then I thought, no, it's... To be fair, that's exactly how Isa would play a quiz. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed Home Alone. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Don't know how I got that. Let's see your scores. Your final scores. The podium. In third place with 14 out of 20, it was Robin F. In second place with 14 out of 20, it was Ice Maiden. But in first place with 15 out of 20, and one of themselves a Tunnock's Hamper. It was you okay, pal. So you okay, pal, please drop us a DM. We'll Yay! sort you out. Hey, well the done. Guests. Well Where, done. Who, how did you guys do? What? Who, who won out of you's? Oh, I don't know. I was about 100. Oh, Where's the thing? Where, where does it tell you? Oh, it's going I away. was 90th, which I is... I think crazy. I was 47th. I, I was... I think I was 66. I was the worst thing, because I was 100 and something, or 130 something, I don't know. I got eight right, which is dire. <laughs> that's oh, not bad. It, it's it, not too that's bad. That's the thing. It's, it's a way part of it quite But it was very good, and yes. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it yes, it's good fun. Yeah, but thank you all for being part of it. Um... If you at home want to take part in your own 10 times challenge, there's lots of things to do. Um, help STV Children's Appeal mark their own birthday. Um, Laura, are you doing anything different? I am doing the kilt walk next week with my almost two-year-old, which will be interesting. So um, I'm doing the wee wander. I've already done the big one earlier this year. So I'm doing the wee wander with her. So you can come and join us for that. But there's, if you go on the STV Appeal website, there's absolutely loads going on and I think this year more than ever yeah people the kids families need our help so anything you can give anything you can do we are so so grateful yeah so head over to the STV appeal pages on social media they've got lots of ideas of how you can get involved plus information on how you can donate yourself and where that money goes um thank you very much to all of you for giving up your time to be part of this tonight it's really made a difference um, and maybe we could get a wee update of where we are at and what we've raised in the raffle hopefully Lorraine's mug has maybe knocked us over that edge um, <laughs> and, and someone can let us know but I, I will let you guys all get off Lorraine I know you're up very early um, to get on, oh, on your show in the morning um, so, have we got so more thanks. dry vaginas tomorrow? <laughs> 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 I thought you said it was going to blow dry it <laughs> Are you going to blow? <laughs> That's taking taking permission to whole new levels. Are you going to back home it? I mean, what's the plan? <laughs> oh god! You don't wash. You don't wash it on a Friday. You don't wash it on a Friday. That, that's another. Good it's self cleaning. <laughs> that's why you don't have to wash it. It's self cleaning. No, I'm talking about me. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, guys, thank you very much. I'll, I'll let you guys all go. Um, it's been a pleasure. Um, thank thanks you, for Andy. Thank you very bye much. Guys. We'll see you soon. Bye, bye. Well good, done, everyone. Good. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for being part of this. Uh, we're now going to do our raffle. Um, I believe we've raised £1,745. Um, whatever it is, I'm going to make it up to two grand. So whatever it is, I'll make sure we hit that two grand. Um, but we are going to draw the raffle. As I say, we have a 40-inch smart TV, two passes for the Red Bus Bistro Tour Bus, two return rail tickets to London, £500 wedding dress voucher, virtual PT session with Alex Reid, £250 John Lewis voucher, a framed 1972 Rangers Cup winners jersey, Soapy Suds goodie box, and Lorraine's mug. Lorraine's actual mug. Um, you've got like a minute to go and get your last raffle uh, tickets in. Go over to the Just Given link right now uh, and get it done. And then I'll just I'll just wait until somebody sends me the the wee list that I need that I need. Uh, let's it's been a while, guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these quizzes, um, as you can no doubt tell. So I'm trying to remember where everything is. About STV newsreaders cycled ten laps a millport last week. They raised over two thousand pounds. Um, Sophie Wallace and Sasha Spratt doing 10 random jobs in 10 days, including mucking out Edinburgh Zoo, selling coffee and providing hospitality at Transmit. I didn't see them. I didn't see them. Lisa Cutwood says she wants Lorraine's mug. Sandra Edmund said she missed me. I missed all of you guys. I, I genuinely did. I missed you all. Uh, I've, I've just been so busy. I would love to be able to do what well, we flick is up here. No, nah, I can see, see my wee belly. Um, it is, it's good to be back. It is very good to be back. I wish I had more time to be able to spend more time with these in my loft, but I don't. I will be I'll be back as often as I can. I'm just waiting on the list coming through so that I can get the raffle done. Thank you to everybody that donated. And Scott has just sent me through the file. Let's get that done. I don't know if you heard that we do do do, but that was me getting it. Jim Hill, how's your forties going? Thanks, thanks for reminding me. That's harsh, harsh, harsh. Jim didn't need that reminder. It's a Thursday night, bank holiday weekend. And you're reminding me I turned forty. No need, no need, Jim. Jim Lowden says, "Mass and love for the shot." Uh, I got this for my fortieth. If you are not watching Ted Lasso. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. If you're not watching Ted Lasso, I just don't want to hear it. Go watch Ted Lasso. Greatest show that's been on TV in quite some time. So let's see how many we've got. So 583, up. we're going up to 583, that is how high our numbers are going today, 583 raffle tickets, is that right, that must be two and a half grand, is that right, maybe somebody can let me know, oh no wait a minute, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, that's not right. Three hundred and fifty five. Three hundred and fifty five. Three hundred and fifty five raffle tickets. Let's get the old randomizer out. Three hundred and fifty five. There we go, 355. And then let's do our first number. Oh, 
is seen fifty five at the bottom. I will allow duplicate um, allow duplicates what we're talking about. Um, and let's see what we'll do first. We'll do a, we'll, let's do a big price first, eh? We'll do the T V first. We'll do the T V. Three hundred and fifty five. Our first number out is that one, I can't see it, so I'm going to, need to turn it around. 254. 254. One of them sell for TV. Uh, Anne Murphy. Anne Murphy. It is a wee bit blurry, isn't it? Sorry, but you just need to take my word for it. Um, Anne Murphy. She wins herself a 40 inch TV. If you do win a prize, all I want you to do is drop us a DM with your email address and then we'll get it passed on to you. Uh, next up, we'll do tickets for the Red Bus Bistro. The Red Bus Bistro. That is going to whatever that number is. 304. 304. That is going to Lily Bryson. Lily Bryson. One of herself tickets for the Bistro. That looks amazing. I don't seen it, but it's a big double decker bus where you can go and get your dinner. Um it looks it looks great. Lily Bryson won that. Um two turn tickets to London on the L N E R. What's that? It's the East Coast Rail Line, isn't it? That's going to that number, which is 168168. It's going to Amy Barkley. Amy Barkley winning herself two tickets on the LNER. A £500 wedding dress voucher. A £500 wedding dress voucher. That's going there. To 348. 348. That is going to Mary Jo Button. Mary Jo Button. Um, do you know what? I think we'll go up the way now. But we'll, I'm going to leave Lorraine's mug to the very end. Lorraine's mug to the very end. That's what we're going to do. Um, so the Soapy Suds goodie box from Helen's Bra Soapy Suds. I think that's right. Yes, it is. Um, thank you for donating that, Jordan. That's going to... 307. All oh, big numbers. 307. That's going to Cat Grant. We'll go for the PT session with Alex Reed. Virtual PT session that is going to... 141, 141. That is Jacqueline Reed. Jacqueline Reed. The £250 John Lewis voucher. £250 John Lewis voucher is going to that number right there. 196, 196. That is Lindsay. Lindsay. We know who that is. Uh, the Framed, signed, 1972 Cup Winners jersey. The Rangers Cup Winners jersey is going there. Is it going to a Celtic fan or Rangers fan? Number 28, the first low number we've had. That is going to... I think that says Martha Hill or Martina Hill. Martina, Martina. My screen's too far away. I didn't think about that. Um, and then our last prize, the star prize. The big one. The mug as drank by Lorraine. On the quiz, it's going to be signed, delivered to you. That is going to, I pressed the button already, 222. That is going to David Stone and Laura McGregor. You have won yourself. Lorraine's mug. Uh, another, that was a, a great night. It has been quite some time um, since we've done this. Thank you all very much for joining us. Uh, as I said, I will make sure that whatever total we have raised, I will make sure that goes up to £2,000. Um, thanks very much. For, oh, Jacqueline Reed. Oh, hold on, actually. Jacqueline Reed, who won the Alex Reed PT session, just told me to redraw it. So we're going to redraw that one. So we have the, the Alex Reed PT session is getting redrawn. And it's going to 253. I've in the 200s. Anne Murphy. Anne Murphy. Anne Murphy won two prizes. She wins the Alex Reed PT session. Well done. And drop us a DM if you have won a prize. We'll get you all sorted out, put you in touch with the right people and get them sent to you. Um, well done to everyone that did win a prize. Thank you all for taking part. Um, Lindsay says that the prize will help out as she's moving house. Did you? What did you win? I forget. Oh, you won the £250 John Lewis voucher. That is a, that's a great, a great shout. Uh, but thanks very much for joining us. Keep an eye on the page. Um, we'll have lots more things coming up very, very soon. Um, and we'll no doubt see you all very soon. So again, thanks for joining us. Thanks for supporting great causes as always. Uh, we'll see you very soon.